what is up you guys welcome back to my channel i am filming this on new year's day i do not know when this video is actually gonna be up it's probably gonna be a while <laughs> till it gets up because i have another video i need to upload but it is currently the beginning of the year so happy new year's i hope you have a wonderful 2024 and a fulfilling one as well. My end of 2023 and beginning of 2024 is going pretty great and exciting with the figure I have to review and show you guys that I got today because it is a holy grail and I mean what better way as a figure collector to start and end the previous year than getting a holy grail. So I'm going to review that for you guys today, but I also have like a bonus figure that I got at the same time that I, from the same series. So I might as well, you know, show it to you in this video as well. Um, but the holy grail figure that I got that I am so just in awe with is Ash and AG from Banana Fish. Look at that. Can you guys believe that they actually re-released this? Like I am, I cannot believe I have this figure. Oh my goodness. This is like the only Banana Fish figure with both Ash and AG together. And the only other Banana Fish figures out there is just Ash on his own. There's no solo AG figures, which is, kind of surprising uh, I know Ash is kind of between the two at least Ash would be the main character he's the main star of the show but I think AG has a pretty strong presence as well um but anyways I I'm just glad that we do have something of them together I did unbox it just because I kind of wanted to sit with the figure a little bit and uh digest it and take it in instead of going in head first and just reviewing it on the spot because i do tend to get way too excited and i'm usually like so in the moment especially if it's like a holy grail too that i kind of disregard anything that i don't like about a figure i'm i got hard eyes so i did sit with it for a little bit and I did find some things that I don't like about it, but again, I still really love the figure so much and I'm, I, it's still, it's still considered my holy grail either way. But before I do that, I do want to show you the box because I, I mentioned it before in previous videos, but I am such a sucker for package design and I want to show you how cool this box is. So first off, we have the we have the banana fish colors the yellow and the black and it's got this like very faded um or somewhat faded uh new york imagery on there right and then we've got the sides that have this like die cut it out uh, imagery of new york as well and then we've got the back which shows the background of New York again and uh, the figures. And then again, we've got this New York imagery and then the title. But my favorite part is the inside of the box. Look how beautiful this scene of New York is. I love this almost groggy, sunset-ish look to it. It is so neat. Um, maybe if I open the box, you can see the colors better, but I mean, oh god, I love, but you're not going to be able to see the image straight, but like, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. The coloring is so true to the series. Oh, and you know what? I just noticed this. You actually can take the insert out, and I'm guessing you can put the figure right over here, so it's got the New York back setting. Too. Oh, that is so neat. See, if I had unlimited space, I would display this with it, but I do have limited space. Also, this is cardboard and I'm too paranoid that I'm going to ruin it somehow. So I do not trust myself. So it's best to just keep it in the box and appreciate it from there. Okay, so now let's talk about the figure itself. I'm going to first list off the stuff that I do really love about it. And then um, I'm going to list off some things that I think could be improved and then we'll just go from there and then afterwards I will show you the bonus figure that I have um, it is an ash figure and yeah we'll talk I'll show you that after this 
So the first thing is, and I already mentioned it before, I am in love, just in love with the fact that we have something of these two together. Not only is just of them together, but it's very much, I don't know, I feel like there is a lot of softness in this figure. The way they sit and the way they're positioned, just <laughs> they're in a way feeding off each other's energy in this and I'm loving it. I hope that makes sense. I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing. I love how soft their expressions are despite this like background that's very grungy because you know it's New York and there are like cracks everywhere but they like still remain soft. I don't know. It just, I, I don't know. That's how I see it. I, 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 mm, I think it's really 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 sweet and I do really love it. I do really appreciate that sort of parallel. The other thing that I really, really love is kind of simple, but it's just the graffiti. I think it beats just having this plain concrete. I like the handwriting. I love like the messy smudges. It's really cool. I also, this is specific to AG, but I really love his outfit. I love his little half tucked shirt and I love the little folds, not only on his collared shirt, but also in on his pants. I think they're so cute and I think, I think it's such a good look on AG. He's so soft. Now, before I move on to the things I dislike, I did want to mention something I'm kind of, that I kind of go back and forth on. I don't know if I dislike it or like it. I don't know, maybe I'm just like indifferent to it because I can see both the positive and negative sides of it. But it's the fact that Ash doesn't have a peg that's stuck to his bottom side to sit on the base. It's made in the way that a noodle stopper is made. So you can just pick him up and he's got, he's just got like a flat bottom where you can just place him. So on one side of it, I do like it because you're not making holes in the figure, let's say, and you can you can use this as a noodle stopper or take it and display it elsewhere. But I'm like, am I ever gonna really do that? Or is anyone really who has this figure ever going to do that? I highly doubt it. I feel like they would just keep this figure with AG. So let me know <laughs> what you think. But to be fair, he does sit pretty nicely on the flat surface of the base. I'm just worried for the time that comes where I'm going to dust my figures and pick him up and forget that he's not actually connected to the base like AG is. And he, I'm gonna pick it up and he's gonna go flying because I, I wasn't careful enough. I just gotta remember that to be careful. I should be careful anyways, but you know me. I'm gonna move on to some of the things that I don't like about this figure and it's how AG is connected to the base. He only has one foot in one peg of the base and because of that, he's kind of wobbly and it almost feels like he's going to snap and it kind of worries me. He also like slides back and forth <laughs> or he slides around. And yeah, that's just, that gives me so much anxiety. And then in terms of shading, they do have some shading going on, like in the clothing and like, especially in Ash's pants and in like some of the folds. But I think the main part of the figures where there needs to be shading is in the hair. There's like, or what seems to be like no shading at all. And their hair almost looks at certain angles. Um, maybe it won't show in the b-roll, but it does show more in person, I think. Shiny and almost wax-like. Despite those little complaints, still a holy grail of mine that I am so shocked that I have because, my god, if you have seen the aftermarket prices on this figure, you would pass out. I... Mm -mm. And you know what? We've gotten pretty much we did we did get all of the banana fish figures re-released even the nendroids i will be honest though i did not pre-order the nendroids i know i know those were on my holy grail list and they got re-released and when they got re-released i decided not to get them only because i i'm trying to hold back on nendroids trying to hold back um but also because this is the main one i want and of like i said before i much prefer scale figures over nendroids don't look at that <laughs> um but also because I, now that i have this bonus figure to show you that i got which is this ash figure that looks freaking cool 
I think now that I have this, I now have, God, I hope I'm right, I have all the banana fish scale figures. So I have this one, I have the Holy Grail that I just showed you, which is by far my favorite. And then I have back there, I never did an unboxing video on it, I don't think. I have this like, I don't know, tuxedo uh, dressed ash figure with the rose and everything. And I think that's all the scales from this series that there is. So I am okay with just having these. I don't think I need the Nendroids anymore. Now that I showed you this figure, let's talk about it, shall we? Okay, so when it comes to this figure, honestly, since the day I knew this figure existed, I never thought that I would actually purchase it, to be honest. I didn't actually think I'd like it, but I took advantage of the fact that it was re-released and I was like, okay, I might as well just get it because it, it is ash and it is a high demand figure, or at least was. And if I don't like it, I can always sell it, right? Um, I bought this figure and I kind of really dig it more than I thought that I would. And I think he's so cool. I think this is my second favorite Ash figure. Uh, my first one, of course, is the one, or I guess I should say my fa second favorite Banana Fish figure because there is no AG figure like we discussed. But I think my first would be, of course, the Holy Grail that I showed first. And then this would probably be my second favorite. And then my last favorite would probably surprisingly be the tuxedo ash figure that I talked about that I already have. This is pretty sick. I was not expecting this to go as hard as, I don't know, the images that I saw. I don't think the images online actually do, at least the prototype images, I don't think they do the figure that much justice. I think it looks way cooler in person. I will say I am not a fan of the large base. I understand it, but I am not a fan, fan of the size. I do though appreciate that he almost takes up the entirety of it, so nothing, at least almost nothing is going to waste. But yeah, just such a pain in the ass with space. But you know, it is what it is. I do really love the marble flooring. I, there isn't much shading or shading at all on the base, but I don't think it needs any shading because it is a marble floor, right? It needs to be shiny. He looks so badass. He looks freaking cool he does have more shading i think uh even in the hair than the ash and ag figure which i really do appreciate his hair is also more matted and isn't as shiny i do love the little um bits of blood going on i think it's so cool i do think he does have more shading or somewhat more shading than the ash and ag figure but i still think he can use a little bit more uh, like in the blood or maybe in the arms a bit. I just think he looks so badass. I love the scratches going on on his chest. I love the open shirt. I love how his hair is like splayed across his face like that. Very, very strong pose. He's got pretty sick rips again in his clothing and the back of his shirt has these like really cool folds. Can y'all tell I'm like a sucker for the folds and clothes? I don't know why they just seems so satisfying to me to look at. This was like a little bonus figure that I got that I just thought I'd just show on here instead of doing a completely separate video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, I hope you have a wonderful 2024 and a happy new year, even though this video is going to come out way after then. <laughs> Please make sure you like and subscribe. And here's to another year of figure collecting. I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye guys.